we started off not just making a few records. Wasn't even, it wasn't even about the money. It wasn't about nothing but just making some records that we like to do. And now, you know, a, a movie, 26 years later, with the same straight out of Compton, it's just, it's amazing. Do you think that the, the problems that you were singing about, that you were performing and writing about when NWA began are still around today? Yeah, I mean, it's amazing. They're still the same. I mean, I mean, it's still racism. That's going to always be around. But, you know, it's just now people, you know, because everybody got a cell phone, so now they can witness it. Every day something new is popping up, and it's just amazing. You know, the cops got body cams, car cams, and they still doing this. I'm just like, you know, people in the back running away. They're not a threat if they're running away. I don't think they are. Not if they're shooting backwards or something, but it just... It's amazing it's still going on. When you think back to when NWA was formed, mm -hmm. and you think back to what you were writing about, what was the source of the anger toward police at the time? I mean, the source was outside our front door. It just, you can't even walk down the street or just drive in a car with two or three people. You know, black. You know, you just, you're going to get harassed. You're going to get pulled over. We in front of the studio in get on the ground, you know, like we're not supposed to be in Torrance, you know, because our studio was in Torrance, so if we go to the store right down the street, we getting harassed all the time, and it's just, why, you know, it just, that's our anger, it's just like, why are you messing with us? Were you surprised when you started 26 years ago that you really hit a nerve with people and you, and you spoke to their anger as well? I mean, we, we was really surprised, especially when we got the letter from the FBI, I'm like, Wow, we really did something. What was the letter from the FBI? It was saying that, you know, about we cite violence or against the police or something like that. You know, but but then what happened was another agency sent them a letter. You can't tell us, you know, it's our rights. We we can say what we want. We ain't saying going out, kill cops, doing no, that was not our message. Our message was just what they was doing to us. What do those words say to you when you listen to them? It just says we tired of the BS, you know. You've been harassing and beating on us for so long for no reason. You know, just, I see if we was doing some kind of crime, but we wasn't doing nothing. And, and, and a lot of times in the get, in back in the day, in the ghetto, they wasn't doing nothing. You look at the stuff now. The people, some of them may do a little something, but you gotta shoot him eight times in the back? Or like, come on, I mean, I, I, I just don't get it. I don't know what's going on. It just seems like it's just getting, it's building up yeah. for something. I don't know what. Do you have kids? Yeah. As a parent, we always want our kids to have a better life. Yeah. Does it make you sad to think that your kids could experience some of the very same issues that you experienced? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's even closer. So, you know, the best advice is do what they ask. They say stand on one leg, stand on one leg. It's that simple. You'd be embarrassed for a minute, but you get to walk away and go home. That's what the key is.